Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita, Tanda Sokongan. Terima kasih. Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So, jom kita buat 3 examples on subtopic 2.3, Capacitors with Dielectrics. Okay, so let's start with the first question. Okay, so let's read the question. Each plate of a parallel plate capacitor is of area 25 cm squared. Make sure you change to meter squared. And the plate separation is 5 mm. So the electric field strength between the plate is given here. And calculate the potential difference between the plates and the capacitance of the capacitor. Okay, so now let's try to answer question A first. Okay, so we want to calculate the potential difference between the plates means that V0 is equal to E0 times D. Alright, and E is given here, the electric field strength, and this is the area, and this is D, the, sep the separation between two plates. Okay, so E0 is given 7 times 10 power of 4, and uh, D is 5 millimeter. Okay. So, V0 is equal to 350 volt. So, this is the answer. Alright, so next, question B. So, here we want to calculate the capacitance of the capacitor. So, we can use equation C0 equal to epsilon naught A over D, where epsilon naught is 8.85 times 10 power of negative 12. A is 25 centimeter. So this one should be 25 times 10 power of negative 4 meter squared. Make sure you change to meter squared. Okay. And D is 5 millimeter. Alright. So C0 is equal to 4.43 times 10 power of negative 11. Uh, sorry, negative 12, I think. Alright. So negative 12 farad. Okay, so finish B. Okay, and this is question C. So let's proceed here. Question C1. Alright, so now C, let's read the question first. If the space between the plates is then filled with an insulator of relative permittivity 15. Alright, so given that this is the relative permittivity ataupun kita panggil dia sebagai dielectric constant. Okay which is epsilon r. So given that epsilon r, relative permittivity is equal to 15, and we want to calculate the potential difference across the capacitor after we insert the dielectric material ataupun insulator tadi. Jadi sebab kita dah ada uh, electric field and kita ada V0, so kita boleh cari uh, epsilon r. We can try to relate with equation epsilon r V0 over V. Okay, uh, di mana epsilon R juga adalah ratio antara initial potential difference over potential difference after we insert the dielectric material. Okay, so we can find V where V is equal to V0 over epsilon R where V0 tadi kita dah kira and epsilon R is 15 and the answer is 23, right? 23.3 volt. Okay. And then C2, so we want to calculate its capacitance. And always remember, selain daripada epsilon R equal to V0 over V, epsilon R also equal to uh, C over C0. It is also equal to epsilon over epsilon naught, And it is also equal to E0 over E. Okay, jadi kita kena ingatlah semua ini. Jadi kita boleh gunakan epsilon R equal to C over C0 as we want to find C where C is equal to epsilon R times C0. So we can just substitute the values 15. C0 is 4.43 times 10 power of negative 12. Therefore, C is equal to 6.64 times 10 power of negative 11 farad. So this is the answer for number 2. And then it's electric field strength. So we can calculate E. Okay. So based on epsilon R equal to E naught over E. So we can find what is electric field strength after we insert the insulator. 
Okay. So, E0 tadi dia dah bagi 7 times 10 power of 4. And this one 15. So, you tekan kalkulator elok-elok. So, you akan dapat 4.7 times 10 power of 3 volt per meter. Okay. So, this is the answer. Alright. So, finish example number 1. Alright, example number two, let's read the question. A 480 microfarad capacitor is charged through a 66 kilo ohm resistor using 12 volt battery. So this is all the values given. So now we want to calculate, for A, we want to calculate the time constant. So we can use this equation. Okay, where R is equal to 66 kilo ohm. And C is equal to 480 microfarad. Okay. So finally, time constant is equal to 31.68 second. Okay. So this is the answer. And then for B, so we want to calculate the energy stored in the charge capacitor. So you can use U0 half C0 V0 squared. So kita boleh gunalah formula yang ini. Okay. Uh, so, sama dengan half C0 soalan dah bagi 480 micro and V um, 12 volt. Okay, squat jangan tertinggal. So, you akan dapat jawapan dia adalah uh, 34.56 millijoule. Ataupun you boleh tulislah 0.03456 joule. Okay, mana-mana pun bolehlah bersama je. Okay. And then question C. Okay, so question C, jom kita baca. So, ini adalah C eh. So, after the capacitor is fully charged, the capacitor is then disconnected. A material of dielectric constant is given 5. Okay, so dielectric constant is 5. Okay, uh, is inserted between the plates of capacitor. Alright, so number one, calculate uh, the potential difference between the plate. Alright, so kita dah ada tadi, ini adalah V0, 12 volt tadi, V0, ni R and this is C0. Okay, so we can calculate um, V. Okay, kita ada epsilon R, the dielectric constant is equal to V0 over V. Sama je macam tadi. Okay, so kita boleh guna formula yang ini. And then kita boleh masukkan lah. So V0 kita dah dapat 12. Eh sorry kita nak cari V right. So V is equal to V0 over epsilon R. So V0 is equal to 12 over 5. And the answer here 2.4 volt. Okay. And then number 2. It's new capacitor sama juga macam tadi. Where ER epsilon R equal to C over C0. So, we can use this equation. So, we can find C lah. Okay, di mana C adalah uh, new capacitance after we insert the dielectric material. Okay, so 5. So, C0 is 480 times 10 power of negative 2. Therefore, C is equal to 2.4 times 10 power of negative 3 farad. Okay, so kita dapat jawapan. And then, number 3, the energy stored in the capacitor. Okay, after we insert the um, dielectric material, so U is equal to half CV squared. So C tadi kita dah cari, uh, eh C kita dah memang dah ada kan, kita dah cari tadi. And then V adalah voltage ataupun potential difference after we insert the dielectric material. 2.4 squared. Okay, so the answer is 6.91 times 10 power of negative 3 joule. Okay. So, finish example number 2. So, let's proceed to example number 3. Okay, question number 3. So, let's read the question first. A vacuum parallel plate. So, a vacuum means that air filled parallel plate. Capacitor has plates of area. This one is given. So, make sure you change to meter 150 times tempo of negative 4. Eh? Uh, negative 4 meter squared. Okay. And lagi. Uh, the separation D, so this is 2 mm, and the separation D is equal to 2 mm. Alright, and here we have V0. Okay, then the battery is disconnected. Okay, and then the battery will be disconnected, and 
here we have dielectric sheet of the same area A is placed between the plates and shown as shown in figure. Okay, as this one lah. So, in the presence of dielectric, the potential difference across the plates is reduced to 500 volt. So, let's say here we have V0 and here we have V which is the potential difference across the capacitor after we insert the dielectric. Okay. So now for question A, so we want to try to calculate the initial capacitance of the capacitor. So we can straightly use this equation, epsilon naught A over D. Since kita tahu epsilon naught 8.85 times 10 power of negative 12. And A is given 150 times 10 power of negative 4. Make sure you change to meter squared. And D is 2 times 10 power of negative 3. Therefore, C naught kita akan dapat lah. Okay, 6.64 times 10 power of negative 11 farad. Okay, so finish part A. And then for B, we want to calculate the charge on each plate before we insert the dielectric. Okay, so Q naught equal to C naught V naught. Alright, so we can straightly calculate lah. Okay, 6.64 times 10 power of negative 11. V naught, soalan dah bagi tadi kan, 2000. Is it? Okay, uh, so kita check balik. So Q naught, saya dapat 1.33 times 10 power of negative 7 coulomb. Okay, unit jangan sana eh. So C, the capacitance after the dielectric is placed. Hmm, so kita nak cari C. Okay, uh, macam mana kita nak cari C? Okay, kita bolehlah guna formula C. Hmm, ataupun kita dah tahu kan? Okay, ataupun kita tahu tadi epsilon R is equal to V0 over V. Epsilon R also equal to C over C0. Jadi, kita boleh guna maklumat yang ini untuk kita carilah. Kan? Uh, so, kita cari. So, now we want to calculate C where C is equal to V0 over V times C0. Okay? So, V0 is equal to 2000 over 500 times C0. C0 tadi kita dah kira. 6.64 times 10 power of negative 11. Okay, so the answer for this one is equal to... Okay, ni kita boleh kira lah. So, kita akan dapat C 2.66 times 10 power of negative 10 farad. Okay, so ini jawapan untuk C. Okay. Okay, so for question D, so we want to calculate the relative permittivity, which is uh, epsilon R. So as we have V0 and V, so I can straightly find the uh, relative permittivity ataupun dielectric constant. Okay, ataupun soalan boleh sebut dielectric constant eh. Okay, so the answer is 4. And for E, we want to calculate the permittivity of that electric material. Means that we want to calculate epsilon. So, disebabkan kita dah ada epsilon R, where epsilon R adalah ratio antara uh, permittivity of that electric material over uh, epsilon naught. Okay? So, bolehlah kita cari. Epsilon equal to epsilon R time epsilon naught. Epsilon R tadi kita dah kira for epsilon naught kita masukkanlah 8.85 uh, times 10 power of negative 12. So ini you akan dapat jawapan lah. Okay. So jawapan dia 3.54 times 10 power of negative 11. C squared Newton per meter squared. Okay. Per Newton per meter squared. Okay. So this is the answer. And F, the initial electric field strength. So, nak cari F, saya buat kat sini lah. Okay. Uh, so, kita nak cari electric field, initial electric field E0. So, kita dah ada V0 dengan D. So, kita boleh senang lah cari. Uh, masukkan saja. Okay. So, jawapannya saya akan dapat 1 times 10 power of 6 volt per meter. So, unit jangan salah eh. Okay, unit V adalah volt, D adalah meter, so volt per meter. And last one, electric field after we insert that electric material iaitu E equal to V over D. And the potential difference after we insert the dielectric is 500 volt. So, kita kiralah kat sini. Okay, 
So final answer should be 2.5 times 10 power of negative 5 volt per meter. Okay, so finish all examples for chapter 2. Okay, so see you in the next chapter which is chapter 3. Terima kasih. Jangan lupa untuk like and share. Jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.